Welcome, Clashers, to another episode of Clash Royale Shoutcast. You give me four minutes, and I'll give you victory. In today's match, we find none other than Biyane77 from the clan Finlandia, and yours truly, the leader of Full Attack. Some friendly greetings start out the match as both build up Elixir. Who will be the first to deploy? There is a Goblin Barrel ready from B. Yane. Here it comes, and I've got no good answer. I drop Spear Goblins in the corner. They will get the other Goblins down, but then the arrows finish me off and a little bit more damage to my left lane tower right away. Now I start with my Goblin Hut strategy, and B. Yane trying to decide. Looks like he is going to send a Witch to help take out those Goblins. As those Skeletons move forward, I drop a Goblin Barrel of my own on the right tower. But I've got a trick up my sleeve, a freeze spell, and that allows me to get a lot of damage off that right lane tower as the witch advances from the left. Yane with the minions finally gets that goblin down, but you can see that is down to triple digits on the right hand side. Both players have deployed minions, but B. Yanes are going to do a better job. They get to the tower and chip off a few hundred in hit points before they finally fall. Here comes another goblin barrel. This time the arrows are ready, and those goblins go down immediately. My right lane Spear Goblins get to the tower and get it under 700 hit points before they fall. And now a Witch going to protect that tower and move down the right lane. As I let Elixir accumulate, trying to decide what my next counter is going to be. The Barbarians possibly on the right hand side on the Witch. There we go. I wait until she gets close and then drop right on top of her. And watch these heroic Barbarians. They take down the Witch. They're working on the Golden Boy and he will make no forward progress. The Prince goes down and they move forward onto the Spear Goblins. Those Barbarians get through almost three groups of troops before they fall and that bought me valuable time to drop the spear goblin hut and watch them work on that tower about 40 hit points at a time yane stops the bleeding by countering with a small group of skeletons and he's got the goblin barrel ready and sure enough here it comes again across the screen i've got minions to counter they will take down those goblins and that is going to leave me with the smallest of advantages going into the double elixir last minute of this battle my minions are on the move on the left lane. We've got goblins piercing that tower one by one on the right lane. Minions overcoming my own on the left. And now you can see the prince is ready. He is down as I drop a balloon on the right hand side. Catching me elixir short just barely. Dropping the goblins and then an unorthodox use of the goblin barrel. And at the same time the tower on the right goes down. My balloon gets all the way through over the witch. And I go ahead one tower to zero. The Goblin Barrel counter to the Prince actually works and saves my left tower which is now down below 500 hit points. A late giant skeleton have not seen one yet in this battle and that catches me off guard. I've got units on the left moving in to try to take it down but the Goblin Barrel comes in and again the arrows take it down 466. Giant skeleton down, minions moving in, all sorts of units meeting on the bridge trying to stop them from approaching my left lane tower. Here come some arrows and Yane has cycled all the way through to another Another goblin barrel and with five seconds left it is airborne three seconds left the goblins are down and time is going to run out with two hit points left on my tower an unbelievably close one crown win over B Yane 77 and that is going to wrap it up for today's episode of the Clash Royale Shoutcast I am off to take an ice bath please hit that subscribe button and thumbs up before you leave and I hope to see all of you back here again tomorrow for more full attacks